Do you want to improve your art? Or are you just struggling to figure out why exactly your art isn't improving? Well, don't worry guys, I'm here to help you today as I step outside of my comfort zone, try making a different style of art, and test out these wonderful pencils that were kindly sent to me by the company Artex. So let's get straight into this. Hey Magical Sparks, welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here, and let's start off this video by unboxing and reviewing these wonderful pencils. Literally the entirety of me as a beginner artist was just me sketching with pencils so I was really excited to just open up this pencil set and start drawing but honestly I couldn't help myself from just being stunned for a second by the packaging I know I say this every time but Artex is always like amazing when it comes to their packaging it's always so unique aesthetic and there's such a great variety like come on this is amazing also here are the 14 different types of pencils you get in the set they're all graphite pencils but obviously of different types and intensities so let's open it up and honestly like guys look at the colors of these pencils i mean this is like one of the only sketching pencil sets that i've seen where all the pencils are different colors and i love it like this is just a great way to be able to tell the different pencils apart from each other especially when you're just kind of working on a drawing really quickly so as you can tell the pencils aren't sharpened but that's okay because i know everybody likes to sharpen their pencils differently especially if you're the kind of person who likes to use a blade or something to sharpen your pencils and make them nice and long so i guess it kind of like grants the extra sense of freedom so before i sharpen the pencils i try to like roughly arrange them in order to see if it would form like a rainbow kind of pattern and unfortunately it didn't but that's okay this kind of has like a really cool pop art kind of effect and it looks kind of cool honestly it's really vibrant i love the colors like i said before they're really unique bright and they're just gonna make a great addition to anyone's desk but with that let's get sharpening and of course i'm gonna go with the light purple pencil because light purple has been one of my top favorite colors since i was eight years old really random i just love light purple anyways this is how the pencil looks it's actually looking pretty good i feel like i could have gone further when i was sharpening it but i was kind of scared that the lead was going to break so i decided to stop there and with that i went ahead and started sharpening everything else okay so now i'm looking at artex's website and here's what they say the graphite core they say is break resistant which honestly let me tell you when i was using it i didn't have any kind of breaking problems at all except for that one time when i was sharpening one pencil but that was my fault i kind of over sharpened it whoopsie daisy and also these pencils have a honeycomb shape and they come in a variety of different degrees it says it's available in 14 finely graded consistent degrees which as you can see are listed on the screen so once i sharpened all the pencils i decided to compare the lightest pencil with the darkest pencil and as you can see they do look a bit different in terms of how far they could be sharpened but that is to be expected and now let's have a look at what it is exactly that makes each of these pencils different from each other also i feel like hb b and 2b pencils are really common pencils that a lot of us use in like school and work and stuff and honestly, until I was a certain age, I had no idea that pencils came in different thicknesses and different intensities and stuff. And when I found out, trust me, I was shocked. Now, I've heard a lot of different things about pencils from different people, but let me tell you guys what I personally believe about these pencils. So pencils that are more towards the H side, you know, those lighter pencils that I was swatching at the beginning, those have more of a harder core compared to the B pencils is like what I've learned from experience and typically they are a good choice to use underneath the watercolor painting because the lead won't tend to lift as much but if for example you used a B pencil under a watercolor painting um, there's a higher chance that the graphite might smudge because it has more of a softer core more of a softer lead which is what lets the graphite lift from my experience, I've noticed that B pencils are better for blending and getting those darker tones and H pencils are better for those lighter sketches underneath watercolors and markers and stuff like that. <laughs> but in the end, they're all pencils and once you buy them, I'm not going to tell you guys how to use them because you can use them however you want to. Just make sure to experiment and have lots of fun. And now can you guys see the difference in intensity? I wasn't pressing lighter or harder with any of these pencils. I pretty much tried to apply an even amount of pressure for each, but as you can tell, they are all of different intensities and with that here is a really really cool reference image i found on pixabay and today i'm going to be trying to recreate that image so i've got my paper i've got my pencils i've got my nails done and now it's time to get a drawing once we mark out the borders with some washi tape 
Personally, I haven't done this in a long time because I usually just kind of freehand the borders But here we are doing it after ages. It's kind of crazy Like a lot of my life has been more of like realistic drawings and pencil sketches and stuff Until I got my markers and watercolors and started my channel now a lot of the art I make is typically kind of colorful in terms of the fact that you know like I color them but I haven't just made one full pencil sketch illustration in ages so I was kind of excited to try that today okay and before someone comments like I've seen you make pencil sketches in your sketchbook of characters and stuff that's not really what I mean what I mean is just like an object or something like I haven't made a pencil sketch of just an object in ages which is why I'm excited to do it today anyways let's get on to the second half of this video and let's start talking about why your art isn't improving and five things that you can do to get your art to improve okay quick story time last year i focused so much on getting my art to improve i was so set to give my art a glow up so i filled in a total of three sketchbooks last year and if you look at all these sketchbooks you'll notice that my art has definitely changed and improved so so much i mean obviously there are still flaws there always will be but there was such a big improvement and such a big glow up and I love that a lot and I felt really happy but this year I haven't really been concentrating on improving my art I've just been more concentrating on being more creative and because of that I've noticed that from the start of the year till now my art really hasn't improved that much I haven't like learned a lot of new things I haven't set any goals I haven't achieved any goals because I haven't set them and I was just like kind of disappointed in myself I guess and don't take me wrong it's not that I hate my art I honestly love my art a lot but it's more of just that I'm not seeing that kind of improvement happening this year and I thought maybe today I try something different maybe so I could step out of my comfort zone and maybe I could make a video with tips to help you guys while I also help myself and with that let me tell you guys five things that you can do to help improve your art these are all really really simple things I know I made a video last year with like 25 tips those are a lot of tips but let me break it down into five simple tips that I want you guys to start doing to help improve your art and that I also want to personally commit to to help improve my own art so let's get to it the very first tip is get over the fear of failure sometimes I notice that I personally don't want to start a drawing because I'm scared that it's gonna look bad like that just is horrible because if you guys have watched Miraculous, which I hope you have, it's on Netflix by the way, then there's a really good quote in that film. And it goes like this, failure is not your enemy, fear is. Now that's exactly what I mean. Like with me, I'm scared of failing, but in the end, even if I fail, at least I would have drawn. At least I can learn something new from that drawing that I made. Even if it's like horrible, I can like learn something from it and make my next drawing better. So just keep that in mind, get over the fear of failure, and even if you're scared, just give it a try. Even if you know you're going to hate the drawing and how it turns out, you might end up loving it just one day. Okay, the second tip is to stop stressing about concept transfer. Now what I mean by this is I've noticed with myself sometimes, I have this kind of concept in my head that I want to get down on paper. And when I try to draw it and I realize that it doesn't look as nice as I kind of visualized it to be in my head, I get a bit frustrated and I feel some of those like art block kind of symptoms. And now combating this is very, very easy. I'm not saying don't visualize things in your head, but what I'm trying to say is that whatever you draw on paper, try to find a way to work around it. Now it might not look exactly like how you wanted it to look, but that's fine. Think of it as still being beautiful because trust me, it definitely is. Even though it doesn't look exactly like how you would have wanted it to be maybe it's just beautiful in its own way and you just have to change your perspective to see that which by the way is exactly what i did with this drawing because i really didn't like how the water was turning out because it didn't look exactly like the reference image but then i kind of told myself not to stress too much i just told myself to go with the flow trust the process and i'm so so happy that i did because the final result turned out stunning now another reason why your art may not be improving is because there's a lack of commitment which um is something i'm also guilty of this year especially i haven't really been telling myself to draw that much sometimes i just don't want to and i just let it go but then eventually i just lose interest which is very annoying and to combat this it's really easy what you have to do is just put in that commitment you don't have to draw every single day or anything 
just tell yourself to draw at least once a week, even if it's like a five minute sketch. And then just gradually build that up. I know it's hard, life gets busy, we don't have time to draw. I completely understand, trust me. But just building up that commitment is really important. For me, for example, I usually tell myself to draw when I record for YouTube, which is one form of committing to art. But at the same time, I also want to commit to my personal art time where it's not YouTube related, which is something that I'm going to be working on doing this year. And my fourth tip is to be brave. Now, a reason why your art is not improving is probably because you're too scared to try stuff. And to combat that, all you have to do is be brave. Now you might be thinking, but Sparkle, be brave, like that's easy for you to say, not easy for me to do because like, it's hard, you know, I just want to stay in my comfort zone. I agree, staying in your comfort zone is nice. It's, it's comfortable, obviously, but being brave is what is going to allow you to learn and to experiment and to feel that sense of freedom. Like me today working on this drawing, I was definitely being brave. I mean, realistic drawings is not something that I've done recently. And not even the fact that I made this drawing, but just the fact that I recorded myself and now I'm posting myself making this drawing is something that takes courage. So guys, just give it a try. Even if your art turns out horrible, you will improve. Even if you make some kind of mistake, you're going to learn from it. And all it takes is that slight bit of courage. And now this fifth tip, I'm going to be honest, connects with the reason why my art hasn't really improved that much this year. And that fifth tip is to pretty much try new things. Now this year, I have really, really, really stayed in my comfort zone a lot of the time, especially when it comes to my sketchbook, which is okay in the short term because it makes me feel nice but in the long run how am i going to improve if i literally just keep doing the same thing each and every single time so my goal for the rest of this year is to try new things whether that be drawing on sticky notes and sticking that in my sketchbook whether that be using different art mediums whether that be setting goals and learning for example trying new things like coloring clothes or drawing dynamic poses and honestly it's just focusing on those small small things that is really going to help you to level up your game and level up your art in no time but yeah those are a couple of reasons why your art might not be improving and five tips to help you guys to improve your art and with that let's talk more about these pencils so these pencils can you guys tell they are so smooth on the paper i feel like i barely press down because they just work that well well obviously with the darker tones and stuff i did have to press down but otherwise just look at how nice they blend and lay down on paper it was truly such a satisfying experience honestly i love these pencils and they kind of make me want to make more realistic drawings and believe it or not, this entire drawing took me a total of two hours. For me, that's pretty crazy because that's not even a lot. Like two hours is just like a little bit of time compared to how longer other sketchbook pages take. And honestly, I'm just in love with this final drawing. I'm in love with how the pencils worked. And guess what? I only used three pencils for this entire illustration and I did not have to sharpen any of them for a second time. <laughs> now that is truly, truly incredible. And that kind of just tells me that these pencils are going to have a very, very long life and they're not gonna run out really, really quickly like some other pencil brands. By the way, I would like to send out another big thank you to Artex for sending me your pencils for free to try out. I had such a fabulous time using them and I'm definitely going to be using them again very, very soon. Also, if you guys wanna purchase this pencil set as well, the company has provided me with some links which I'll be adding in the description so make sure to check those out they're not affiliate links just general links by the way and yeah <laughs> here is how the final drawing turned out and like I said I love it so so much I'm super proud of myself and I guess you could say that my art definitely improved in this drawing <laughs> Anyways guys, that is officially it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this drawing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked the tips and the mini story times and everything. And make sure to check out the links in the description if you'd like to purchase this product. But other than that, that is it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Stay awesome as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Magical Sparks.